Hello everyone. I am Praveen, a science facilitator from science department at ML Khanna DV Public School Sector 6 Dwarka, New Delhi 75. This video is for students of class 3 in which we are going to discuss about importance of plant which is given in chapter 4. We all know that plants are wonderful gift of nature to us. It is our duty to protect them. Plants are of great importance in our life. They not only make us feel good, but also very useful in many ways. Plants are really important for the planet and for all living things. Plants maintain the atmosphere. They absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen from their leaves, which Humans and other animals need to breathe. Living things need plants to live. They eat them and live in them. Plants help to clean water too. Plants provide foundation of many food chains and animal life would not exist if plants are not found around. Let us have a look on Keywords of this chapter. Afforestation, planting of new trees, deforestation, cutting down of trees, necessities, basic needs, survive, to live, purifier, something which help in removing impurities. As you might have heard water purifier, you have seen water purifier. The same way we have air purifier that is plants. It cleans our air. Why are plants important? Plants provide oxygen. Plants provide food. Plants are used in medicines. Plants gives us building material. Plants are used in our clothing. Plants provide fuel. Plants provide us with beauty and pleasure. Let's have a look on a mind map of this chapter. How the, plant, how the plants are important to us. Plants provide us food, wood, timber, fiber. They also give us medicine. They help in decoration. They provide shelter to many animals. They are eco-friendly. They reduce pollution. And they help to prevent the soil erosion. They are also having industrial values. In our textile industry, paper industries. Now we will study one by one about these points. First, we will study about food. Under food, we are having the number of food items like cereals, pulses, fruits, vegetables, spices, oils, sugar, beverages. Now we will study one by one about this. Food item. First food item we will study about cereals. Cereals are grains like wheat, maize, rice, barley, oats, etc. from plants. We cannot eat grains in raw form. For example, we eat wheat in the form of chapati, puri, pratha, etc. See, these cereals or grain provide us energy. It is a main food in our three meats. Look at the plants. This is a wheat plant. This is maize plant. And this is rice plant. Next category is pulses. We get large variety of pulses from plant. And plant provide us protein. Look at the picture. These all pulses we are getting from plants. Next category is fruits. These fruits we are getting from plants, they are rich source of vitamin and mineral and they provide a little quantity of sugar. Most fruits are eaten when they are ripe, they will become juicy and delicious. Next is vegetables, they provide us vitamin and mineral. Some vegetables are eaten raw and some are eaten cooked. Vegetables which are eaten cooked are spinach, ladyfinger, 
brinjal, etc. Vegetable that can be eaten raw as well as cooked like carrot, radish, onion, tomato, etc. Next category is spices. We get large variety of spices from plants. These spices are important part of Indian cooking. These all spices are important part of Indian cooking. Some spices are eaten fresh form that we will see in the coming slide. And these spices add taste to our food and help in digestion. Next is oils. Different types of oil required for everyday need is obtained from seeds of mustard plant, coconut plant, tail plant, sunflower, etc. After all, let me study about the beverages. Beverages are liquids other than water like tea and juices. A cup of tea or juice refreshes a person to do work. When a person come home after a day's work, he want a cup of tea to refresh himself. The sugar, again we get sugar from sugar cane plant. It provides us lot of energy. Already we have discussed about spices. That is in a dried form. And now these garlic, the ginger, neem and uh, tulsi we use in a fresh form to make medicine. They help in digestion, they help to cure diseases and makes us fit and healthy. After the category of food, the next category is wood. We get wood from the plant. This wood is used in construction. This wood is used in construction of houses, making furniture like chair, sofa, almira, boats and bridges. We get rubber also from rubber tree. It is used to make objects such as tires, boots, balloons, horses, such kind of things we are getting from rubber and rubber we are getting from rubber tree. Fibers also we get from plants like cotton fiber, silk cotton, jute fiber, ham fiber, choir fiber, flax fiber. They all are used for spinning clothes or making ropes. Trees also uh, helpful in industrial value. They are also having a great value in industries like in textile, textile, paper or processing the other thing based on plants. Shelter, they provide home for many animals and plants. Trees provide food and shelter to many species of insects, worms, small mammals and birds. Through this picture, it is clear to you. Next is, we are using plant for decoration also. We keep this plant inside our house for decorating the um, our uh, surrounding or these plant gives us lot of oxygen, produce lot of oxygen which increase oxygen content in our surrounding like arika palm, money plant, snake plant. These plant increase oxygen content in our surrounding. We used to keep inside our house uh, to increase the uh, amount of oxygen as well as for decoration. Apart from providing so many useful things, plant gives us something very, very important for all living things. This is oxygen gas. Yes, this gas we all need for breathing. Plant gives out oxygen gas during the day. This helps to increase the amount of oxygen in the air and thereby purifies it. Hence, plant act as air purifier. Through this uh, picture, it will be clear plant act as air purifier and they maintain balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide. Look at this diagram. 
here the roots are ab root absorb water and mineral from the soil take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in the presence of light and chlorophyll they are producing carbohydrate or food for the plant during this process they release oxygen this oxygen is taken in by the animal or human beings and they give out carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide plants are using for making their food in this way they are maintaining balance in our nature balance between the oxygen and carbon dioxide plant also helps to reduce pollution pollution is reduced by the plant they absorb carbon dioxide and sound from the environment you can see these two pictures in one picture number of vehicles are there producing lot of pollution this is absorbed by the plants only and to reduce the pollution plant also bind the soil with the help of their roots and prevent soil erosion it is clear through these pictures look at this picture it is full of plant and in this picture only few plants are there and soil erosion is also there so through the plant it helps to prevent soil erosion or helps to bind the soil now we can understand the plants are very important and wonderful gift of nature to us we must take care of plants so that their number does not decrease if we have to survive on earth if we have to live on earth we must protect the plants or we have to grow more or more plant there are here are some ways to conserve plant look at the picture the students are uh, planting new plant or saplings they are promoting afforestation this is also one of the way or we celebrate we should celebrate one month of by planting saplings in the schools and neighborhood areas and we have to take full care of this sapling and let them grow into plants and trees this is one of the way the other way is let us not cut trees we should use only those branches and leaves that have been fallen down for making compost or to burn as a fuel to cook food and we need to save our forest and put a ban on deforestation that is cutting down of a tree and there should be a punishment for those who cut down trees look at this uh, uh, rally of uh, students small kids they are giving a message to society that we have to stop deforestation we have to plant more trees let's have a quick recap the plant provides so many things through this pictorial diagram we can understand it provides spices in a dried form medicines rubber fruit and vegetable oil wood and oxygen the very important thing oxygen without all these thing it no it is not possible to survive on earth can we imagine life on earth without this plant no let us revise uses of plant we depend on plants for our various necessities plants gives us food in the form of fruits vegetables pulses and grains we get wood paper rubber cotton oils spices and so many other things from different plants some plants like tulsi neem ginger and garlic are used to make medicines this is all about importance of plant thank you for watching this video